Prospective new owners of Manchester United will enter a third round of bidding at the end of this month as the Rain Group call for final offers. Both Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani are expected to table third offers, with as many as seven parties still in the running for a takeover of the club. None of the previous bids are thought to have matched the £6 billion valuation set by the Glazers. Finnish businessman Thomas Siliakis pleaded for a swift resolution to the process on Tuesday evening, calling on the Glazers to negotiate face-to-face -face with what he believes to be three serious bidders. Gary Neville, meanwhile, has labelled the decision to open a new round of bidding as classless and suggested it could impact United's transfer activity. Elsewhere, Marcus Rashford is a doubt for Thursday's Europa League quarter-final first leg at home to Sevilla on Thursday, following the strikers' withdrawal from the win over Everton with a groin injury. The exact nature of the injury has not yet been confirmed, but he is thought to have gone for a scan earlier this week. And Sevilla have confirmed their 22-man travelling squad for the clash, making one change from the matchday squad of their last league game a 2-2 draw against Celta Vigo. Kyle Newbold report. Marcus Rashford latest United will not risk Marcus Rashford for Thursday's Europa League clash with Sevilla, according to the Mirror. The 25-year-old pulled out with a groin injury during Saturday's 2-0 win over Everton, with no clear update on his fitness since. The report suggests he went for a scan earlier today adding that Eric Ten Hag will not risk him for Thursday's clash, although there is still no clear indication as to the severity. Ten Hag expected to be quizzed on Rashford's fitness during his press conference tomorrow. Kyle Newbold Thomas Siliakis plea prospective Manchester United owner Thomas Siliakis believes the old Trafford takeover process needs a swift resolution for the sake of the club. The Finnish entrepreneur has launched a bid to buy United by pooling resources with other investors. He is also open to supporter involvement proposing a model where fans all chip in a small fee for a 50-50 stake alongside him. Sir Jim Ratcliffe's Ineos and Sheikh Jassim's 9-2 Foundation have both tabled two bids to buy United and appear the frontrunners but reports have now emerged saying a third round of bids will be taking place, sparking an angry response from former United man Gary Neville. And Ziliakis is also unhappy at the prospect, claiming the continued delay is hampering the club. Writing on social media, he said, Media claims that Glazers are preparing to invite a third round of bids. For the sake of United let's hope it is not true. There are three serious bidders. Negotiate with them face to face until a deal is reached. This has been going on too long already. Read the full story here Greater than greater than greater than Kyle Newbold Sevilla confirm squad for Thursday Sevilla have confirmed their travelling squad for Thursday's Europa League quarter-final first leg at Manchester United. The Spanish outfit have made one change from the squad that faced Celta Vigo in La Liga last Friday, with Lucas Ocampos included following a suspension from domestic action. The Argentinian has taken the place of Peg Gay, with Joan Jordan and Tecatito Corona both confirmed as injured. Jose Luis Mendelabar's side will also include United Loney Alex Tells, with European competition allowing players to feature against their parent clubs. The left back hasn't started since mid-March and will likely be on the bench. Kyle Newbold Morning Reds
Good morning all and welcome to our Live United blog this Wednesday. Stay tuned throughout the day.